every now and then artists, creative types will hit a doldrums of creativity where nothing seems to be coming to mind. It's okay, world's a big place. You can reach out just about everywhere and come up with something new. So I use the game of what if, look at something and say, what if this happened? What if this happened? What if it didn't do as you think it's gonna do? So uh, what if that's driven my, my creativity for my entire career? Just uh, uh, whether in contemporary type work or science fiction type work, it, uh, it seems to work for me. Another thing you can do is if you hit that dry spell and nothing's coming to your mind, uh, anime, anime, manga, that stuff kind of leads <clears throat> the world in the future trends uh, of what you see, what you like. So dig it out, take a look. There's a lot of anime out there that is is cutting edge in regards to plots, devices, and things that readers will, will get into. Graphic novels, those kinds of things that happen fairly quickly. You can review the stuff and it's not gonna take you a, a year of reading uh, all the science fiction, the space opera novels in order to catch up to what's happening, the tropes, those things that readers are looking for and embrace most importantly. <clears throat> a movie, uh, watch movies, but with an eye toward what you would do differently and why, and pause the movie. This is an important element because that takes you out of the just watching the movie and being entertained, and that's a different part of your brain. If you pause it, now you activate that analytical part of your brain and it, it makes you think, what if? Uh, what if this happened? Or why is this pulling me along where I have to keep watching? What's going on? What about these characters? Is it the visuality, the cinematography, or is it the characters? What is pulling me along? Uh, watch it for a little while, you get really into it, and, and then hit pause, force yourself out of it. This is a, a mental exercise to keep you, keep your analytical brain engaged of why. Why is this doing this to me? Why is this eliciting this emotional response? And then look at your books and your story. How can I work this into my stuff? Here's an, here's an exercise, and this isn't, you're not stealing other people's work, but it's a manual implementation of learning the words. Take somebody else's book, a book that you love, a book that uh, really resonates with you and retype passages from it. I mean, you delete them later, but this is the memory of how the words flow through your fingers and how they read and that uh, interface between your brain and your fingers, it could help you better shape how you work your prose, how you tell your story, what in this is so gripping that I gotta keep reading. <clears throat> so a, an exercise where you take a book that you love and re rewrite, not rewrite it, but type it in, copy it, you type it, uh, into the screen, and that gives you some muscle memory on, hey, here's good stuff, and then delete it, of course. Don't use any of those words because they're not your words, <clears throat> but it's just an exercise. And then the final thing, when all else has failed, watch the news, and it'll make you want to go someplace else. You'll be sucked the life out of you. So you watch the news for like five minutes and say, oh, my God, this sucks so bad. Delete it. Go to uh, uh, change the channel. Go to something that you want to do, something that doesn't suck the life from you like your own stories, get into your own world, do some world building. Other things that can do, the, uh, refill the creative well, outlining, uh, the what if, just start dabble some things, just uh, take a great scene. Hey, here's a scene that I would love to see and, and jam it in. Even if you don't have the book, don't have the ideas, get those scenes and create those ideas that then can expand. Most, uh, Shows, TV stories, uh, TV shows, uh, movies, short stories begin with a single premise. Wouldn't it be neat if? Take that and it grows from there and then you add subplots and build around it and create the three-dimensional world around that singular idea. And that is, that's really all you need. Classes seem crooked. How weird. <clears throat> but that's it. Refilling the creative well. It's don't get so quagmired. Staring at a blank screen does nothing for you. Uh, if it's not coming, it's not coming. Go do something else until it does come, whether it's uh, go take a walk, go do other things. Those are, different to, those are things to recharge. But when the ideas aren't there, 
they're, they are. They're just buried beyond a, behind a layer of sludge. Clear that sludge out by activating other parts of your brain through movies, through anime, through uh, graphic novels, through the visual, through tactile uh, approach of retyping a scene that you think is super gripping and uh, go from there. I hope it works for you.